What up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you from out in western Kentucky, doing a wild pond update. And I'm doing it from a ways away, because I'm trying to be quiet, because I want you guys to hear just like the natural orchestra. I mean, there's like the sweet bee landing on the camera right now as I do this. Uh, and I want to walk you guys up here. It's going to take me a minute, because it's really, really thick. But uh, I planted some plants out here in... Uh, it was actually, a, I, I, did, I would love to tell you I planned it this way. It was June 7th, today's the 8th, so, or what's today, 8th or 9th, whatever. And uh, it's rolling back here, and I want to show you guys how it is, but I really want you guys to take in the full, like, just, like, just, this is heavenly back here. It's also, you know, 40, you know, 40, I don't know couple minute walk from where my wife and kids are so I can like go back out here and just chill it's very very thick though I'm rocking these last time I had sandals it was not fun but check this out hopefully I can catch some frogs on camera and last time I was here I was fortunate enough to see a little baby turtle frogs jumping out here. We look at that water hyacinth. Oh, there we go. Missed them. You can see some stuff rippling around. Mosquitoes all over me already. What's that? There's a little gardener snake. When I was out here earlier. But yeah, check this out. Sorry frogs as they interrupt your morning. So now that we're here, I want to interrupt the uh, the silence of this beautiful natural spot to bring it to you all. So check it out. We're looking for a couple of plants. We're looking for the Hygrophila deformis. We're looking for um, the Elodea anacris. We're looking for the giant vowel and the uh, Italian vowel. And uh, I also have like this random weed. So this thing I knew would be fine. This was in one of my ponds I tore down. Doing just fine. Um, the water hyacinth is completely multiplying all over us. Oh, check that little frog out. They're little, little tiny frogs. Uh, swimming along here. So the hyacinth has gone crazy as expected. And some people had some, some valid heat in the other videos about me putting uh, invasive species in a pond. This, don't do this at home. Um, these won't survive the winter or whatever. So I don't feel bad about putting them. Private pond, not connected to anything. But regardless, uh, they're good here. And by the way, just as a connection to your guys' own aquariums, I'm trying to reduce the amount of this funky algae in here by adding a lot of plants. Same exact concept that goes on in your aquarium. So down here, now I planted over here some Hygrophila deformis, the water wisteria. I don't see it. I don't know where it is, but I, I'm pretty sure it didn't make it. But folks, it is with my great pleasure to show you the plant that I want in my coffin, now growing at my in-laws house, does it get any better than that? Jungle Val, bum bum bum, bringing it to you on a Sunday, growing natively, or not natively, but growing in the wild for me. So look at this Jungle Val. Folks, this started with probably 12 pieces. You can click the link and check out the old video. Uh, two months ago, this is two months worth of growth. And I'm really, really, really excited to see just this robust growth here. And you can see it's heading like, it's not done yet. It's heading way out and heading there. And I'm actually going to uh, uproot some of it and spread it out even more so it can just go. I'm not going to harvest any of it. I'm not going to, you know, whatever. I'm going to leave it. I want to let it just get going crazy. So really, really, really pumped about that. Um, you can see the water lettuce and the hyacinth here. Uh, going nuts. I, I was looking for the taros. I don't think those made it. Those were native. I don't think those are the ones I brought. Those are some sort of, you know, whatever thing. But the lily is all right. I don't see any blooms on it. But uh, there's one in the center there. But that that had all of like, you know, four leaves on it. Two months growth, guys. Two months growth. Natural sunlight. So 
really jacked. And then I got this. Let's pull this up and see what this is here. I don't know what you are. That's some sort of funky stuff. But let's get into this jungle aisle, shall we? Actually, I'm just going to put the camera down and rip into this. This is too hard to do with two hands, or with one hand. All right, so here is the jungle val uh, out there. I believe it's the Italian val, though I did plant two different species, Gigantia and the Italian val. There it is out here, and then out there. And then I took this bit right here. I just want to show you guys this uh, this plant mass. This is pretty legit right here. So I've got all of this nice new growth. I'm going to say it triple, probably quadrupled. Again, two months time. Look at that heavy growth. Obviously, it's growing in dirt, growing in mud. Shocker, it's growing really well in mud and full sunlight. But I'm really uh, excited to be, you know, playing with this. I mean, look at this. It's one of my favorite plants. I said, I've said it a million times. I want this uh, plant in my coffin when I go. And now I've got one of my favorite plants growing out there in a nice big chunk. So I'm actually going to take this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it out even more so we can just send yeah, runners show everywhere. This. this was where it was real thick. And I noticed that it was growing in this way, meaning you see a little runner there was heading inland uh, with the shallower water growing just more naturally that way. So what I've done is I've taken, I hope you guys can see it with the glare, I've taken all these little individual uh, pieces of jungle vial and I've spread them out all along the shore here so that they can grow and spread out in the shallower water. Shallower water equals more sunlight, equals more growth for D. So we're pumped, pumped about that and then also I'll show you guys this. This is Elodea anacris, but what's interesting about this, guys, is that uh, it's got like narrower leaf growth on it now. Like, see how the leaves are a little more narrow in there? Like when I planted it, they were a little thicker, so I'm not really sure, but I'll show you how that's, this is uh, probably half. This is where it's growing right here. I put it up close to the shore. Now my goal, a couple things, I wanna make sure, I'd love it to, to make it that this pond could support fish life. I don't know if that's even possible with the urea fertilizers they use or whatever. But I'd love to get a ton of, ton, a ton of like, you know, tropical plants or, you know, native plants. Elodea, jungle vowel can be found in the United States. So I'd love to get a ton of them in this pond. And, you know, obviously I'd have my own supply, but I'd also have, you know, it could support life better. So I'm really jacked to see this just growing. I'm going to spread this out well and kind of outcompete. You know, some of the algae here, I have no idea what the fertilization is here, but this is such a sweet little pond. Two couple of huge vultures were like flying away the other day from over there. So, having a good time. Ugh. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Click the link and get on those webinars. I'm having an absolute riot with those free live webinars. Get on there, I'll be answering your questions live. So check that out. Click the link to check out this video two months ago. You can see how this, uh, this pond has evolved. Everybody make it an awesome week and tank on. Later.